The restaurant Das Meisterstück in Berlin is holding a beer tasting. Host Frank Waldecker has invited his guests to sample specialities, such as champagne beers, sour beers and smoked beers, all of them brewed in accordance with Germany's purity laws. Carefully selected dishes enhance the taste of the beer. There are different aromas, different layers. Basically, it's just like a good wine. You smell the bouquet, then let the taste roll from the front to the back of your mouth. And you experience a succession of different flavors with a lingering afternote. This is beer for a niche market. The microbrewery trend originated in the United States, but it's also taking off in Germany. You don't just quaff the stuff and feel refreshed. It's about the taste. It's very, very diverse. It almost has as many nuances as wine. You wouldn't expect these things in a beer. Notes evocative of light sparkling Riesling or champagne, fruity notes, blackcurrant, raspberry. The restaurant features 70 different German and international beers. A 0.75 litre bottle usually costs between 10 and 25 euros. But rarities, such as Bouche de Nuit from Belgium, will set you back 60 euros. The only die-hard fans are willing to pay 50 euros for a bottle of beer. But beers in the 10 euro price category have found quite a following. They realize it's something special and that it comes at a price. In order to sample and enjoy exclusive beers, German beer drinkers are increasingly opting for a pint in a microbrewery. These often have an attached bar to cater to local markets, places like the Eschenbräu in Berlin. In the last five years, more than 100 microbreweries have opened in Germany. The owner of Eschenbräu has three different types of beer on offer all year round. Pilsner, dark beer and wheat beer, all of them unfiltered. Even a straightforward Pilsner can vary greatly. It can be just bitter or bitter aromatic. It can have the craziest types of hops. And if it's unfiltered, the whole thing tastes better anyway. Filtration removes the different flavors and you really miss them. As well as the three main types of beer on the menu at Eschenbräu, there are 15 seasonal beers, such as Stout, Export or a Bavarian Lager called Merzen. These beers are relatively rare in Germany. Brewers make them by hand and with a real passion. You get to follow every step of the production process, from the cracked grain to the finished mash that you pair with yeast, which then slowly starts to ferment. It's this manufacturing process that makes you so proud. You've made your own product and you hear people say, that's a good beer. The dark beer from here tastes a lot better than a beer from a discount store. It's fresh, tasty and it's sweeter. It's something special. It's not too bitter. It's very drinkable, simply tasty. It's fruitier, stronger. It tastes like beer, homemade beer. Back at Das Meisterstück, it's dessert time. Chocolate brownies with Bavaria's Best, a sweet beer with licorice and chocolate notes. The patrons here agree beer is no simple drink. It can be surprisingly subtle and compellingly complex.